As part of the previous topic, you have understood how to sign up for our website and also purchase one of the products that is available. Once you purchase the product, you also understood how to activate and get access to the lab. Once you get access to the lab, I have also demonstrated how to log in using credentials that are provided as part of labs.itwatch.com lab details section of the user profile page. That being said, once you complete login, you will be seeing a folder called as product here. If you click on this, you'll be seeing uh, the folder related to the products which you have purchased. There might be multiple products. All those product folders will be here as we go along and add more and more products. If you double click on this, uh, you'll be getting uh, content related to this product. When it comes to CCA 175 with Python, Spark Python and Spark SQL are the most relevant ones. As of now, CCA 175 is conducted either by using Spark 1.6 or Spark 2.4. You see there is a PySpark 2 here. You should be able to use this to practice PySpark related content. Now, if you wanted to practice using Spark SQL, you can actually double click on this folder. You have these uh, six modules, getting started, basic transformations, basic DDL and DML, DML and partitioning, predefined functions, windowing functions, etc. You can click on one of these things and you should be able to access the material. In this case, if the appropriate kernel is not selected, you have to choose appropriate kernel and take it further. For this, you have to choose Spark 2-Scala. Don't choose SQL because it is saying Spark SQL. You have to choose Spark 2-Scala. You can select this and then you can run this. Once it is run, you should be able to see the video. For each and every subtopic in this notebook, you can see the videos. There might be some subtopics where there might not be videos, but most of them will have. On top of videos, you will be having the material code snippets, etc. You should be able to run the code snippets in this notebook and start learning Spark for CCI 175 or whatever product you have purchased it for. That being said, you can scroll down, you can see the material here. You can also see the code snippets. This will take care of creating Spark session object and you can actually start exploring whatever content is published as part of each of these notebooks. Let me run this to confirm that it is running without any issues. You can see that it is taking a bit of time. These cells where you have this piece of code will take a bit of time. You can see the star here, which means it is still running. Now it, it have ran. You can see the username and also the Spark session object, which is nothing but Spark. It is of type org.apache.spark.sql.spark session. Uh, you have to use Spark Scala because uh, this is where Spark SQL is also supported. You can just say percentage percentage SQL like this and you should be able to run any Spark uh, SQL related commands uh, using these cells. You can have only one command. As you get into the material, you will understand what I'm talking about. This is how you should be able to access the material that is provided to you.